Welcome back to Trojan TV. I'm Kate. And I'm Ryan. Hey, Ryan, are you going anywhere for spring break? Yeah, I'm going to South Carolina. How about you? Sounds awesome. I'm going to Canada. Only 13 days left until spring break. I can't wait. I'm sick of this snow. In this Trojan TV, we will be covering stories related to science and technology. But first, let's get into some news and announcements. Trojans, make sure to add these upcoming dates to your calendars. March 16th, the following students will be headed off to the NHG Regional Competition. Congratulations to our exhibit winners, Lola Reimers, Macy Wilcox, Ryan Stosky, and Scout Russell. The group exhibit winners, Will Unger and J.P. Heber. The paper winners, Eli Shulkovsky, Amelia Naparella, and Sage Day. The website winners, Spencer Cobb and Avery Taylor. And our documentary winners, Evan Sekinga, Lauren Dusso. Good luck, Trojans. March 21st is the last day of the third quarter, as well as the last day in school before spring break. Break goes from March 22nd to 31st, and school will resume April 1st. Enjoy your days off. Coming up on April 9th, 8th grade students will take the PSAT. Make sure to study, and good luck, Trojans. Students who are going on the Washington, D.C. trip, Mackie is having a meeting in the library during resource today regarding room assignments and flight information. If you are absent, please contact her ASAP. Congratulations to our EMS Odyssey of the Mind team for getting second place in the regional competition. Good luck in the state finals. The staff at East have been working with 3D printers to help students with roadblocks in life. Here's Brady and Connor with more information on the subject. Robotics is a competitive and creative hobby. And now a few students here at East are taking part in their own robotics team and having fun along the way. Well, I wanted to learn about uh, electronics in a cool, fun way with my friends. These students will have more opportunities with future careers due to the technology and engineering skills they're developing with robotics. Uh, I think it will because of all the extra engineering um, capabilities that we will learn. Their team competes all throughout Northern Michigan and has done pretty well so far. We got fifth place in the region, North Michigan, um, and we've gotten third in one of the meets. The robot has been worked on for a very long time and has many functions along with a great driver. We've been working on a robot since November. Um, it has a spinner on the front of it to um, flip over these caps which we can get points by. It can also hit these flags that we can also get points by. The team enjoys their after school pastime very much and they get a lot out of it and want others to try it too. I'm interacting with other people and learning sportsmanship. I think it's very fun and that everybody should do it so that they learn how things work. This has been Brady and Connor reporting for Trojan TV. Common Good Bakery, handcrafted on purpose, 14th Street, Traverse City. Thanks guys. Students go to the library to check out this month's book for EMS Book Brunch. NJHS raised a total of $158.83 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, $75 through online donations, $6.45 from 8th graders, $28.97 from 6th graders, and congratulations to our school champs, $48.41 from the 7th graders. 8th graders, on Tuesday, March 12th, TCAPS will host a STEM speaker panel and college fair from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at the CHS Auditorium. The event begins with a college fair with more than 30 colleges represented. Make sure to stop by the library to enter the Catch a Leprechaun contest. Try your luck, you may win a prize. A few weeks ago, eighth grade students constructed cars out of cardboard and bamboo skewers to compete in a car derby race. We caught up with Lauren and Reese to take a closer look. Mrs. Conrad and Mr. Dykstra held a car derby race for their 8th grade science classes to teach them about their forces and energy unit. They used um, designing skills. Even though they were given the materials and uh, measurement requirements, there was still um, a lot that they could do on their own. Um, so they kind of had to think creatively um, and it was fun to see them you know, get creative with it, do their designs. It helped me get a better understanding of how mass and speed works and how they work together. It helped me understand more that like the weight in the back, if you have a lot of weight in the back, it will, it, the acceleration, deceleration, 
help me understand that some more. Students were able to create their own designs and cars to race them against their friends. It, it took a few, a few days. I think we spent three or four days on the project. So it's kind of nice to just have a break from the typical classwork and do something different. Um, I think a lot of kids enjoy doing project-based assignments. They were able to put what they've learned into practice um, instead of just sitting down and doing a worksheet or taking a test to, to show what they knew. I think majority of the students did enjoy it. I would like to do more hands-on projects. I've had, I have lots of fun with doing hands-on projects. I would like to do another project like this because it was fun and a good way to learn. This has been Reese and Lauren reporting for Trojan TV. This episode of Trojan TV was brought to you by Empire Valued Advisors, maximizing client resources and time. That concludes this episode of Trojan TV. You can follow all of our social media sites at East DMC, and be sure to check out our website, the link, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Trojan TV East, for more awesome stories. Have a great weekend, Trojans. Bye. Bye.